What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski and I'm back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today the brand new raid boss has hit global version of One Piece Treasure Cruise and it is the 60 stamina version of Clash Admiral Alkiji. So this is by far one of the most difficult raid bosses especially when you do not have a very high level account with not too many great units at max special. Even my units, even like my Doflamingo isn't at max special. And it is very hard because you have to store a little bit differently if you would have max special. But anyways, the team that I'll be using is a double strong world shanks team. Now, double black clad shanks. Very, very powerful team. Utilizing uh, Mr. Two and Garp for a full team of Psy Orbs. I have then Impact Usopp to double the attack of my Psy units for a turn. And then I also have Doflamingo to double the orb effectiveness. So overall, you can pretty much nearly kill him if you're at full HP uh, with one hit, basically. So... Anyways, getting into this room, we actually have, starting off, we've got a pretty bad starting room. Uh, a lot of these guys have a one-turn cooldown, which is kind of annoying, so we just want to make sure that we're stalling correctly, that uh, we can stall without taking any damage. That's pretty much the name of the game in this first few rooms, is to make sure that we don't take any damage. Otherwise, can be a little bit tricky. So, uh, yeah, obviously with the Strong Words Shanks team, you've got to have at full health to be doing the most damage that you possibly can, so... That is our aim, is to try and get to Alkiji with full health and our specials all charged up. Now, my Doflamingo is one away from max, so that means that this room here, I actually have to take a hit from uh, the turtle. If I take a hit from anyone else, it's going to be too much damage to withstand. So that is what I'm going to do. Uh, we've got to, actually, we've got a Meat Orb, so I'm actually going to save that Meat Orb. That's actually going to become so, so useful uh, in this room here. Uh, I'll actually go ahead and take down this guy as well. And uh, the turtle's actually going to hit us here. We, now, we actually recovered for like 1,800, which is really, really good. So if we can find ourselves another meat orb, that would be absolutely perfect. So we'll see what happens here. I'll actually go ahead and actually just kill this lobster here. We don't really need him here. Actually, we probably could have saved him for the stall factor. Um, yeah, we actually probably should have saved him for the stall factor. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is actually just one hit all of these guys to make sure that I can, you know, potentially get a meat orb in the next room. That would be good. And see if we get uh, anything good. We don't get any meat orbs, uh, but in this room here, what they actually do, it actually locks and uh, silences your captain for one turn. So if you have sockets, that is the most important thing with this dungeon. If you have sockets, it makes it so, so much easier for completing this dungeon. So... This is going to be tricky. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, but let's see if we're able to take these guys down. Making sure we hit our perfects, of course. Okay. Okay, we weren't able, so we're actually going to take a lot of damage here. We probably should have attacked with our uh, Psyorb first, and then we would have been good. Uh, but let's see. Okay, we got two Meat Orbs here. That's actually perfect. Wow. That's really lucky. Okay, and then we can take him down in the next turn. These guys have high defense, so make sure not to kill them if you are trying to stall on them a little bit. And we got another Meat Orb. That's really, really good. Okay, that is amazing. That is perfect. That is really, really good. Like, words don't even describe how good that is. So go ahead, take him down now. Should be fine. Garp's going to kill him off here, which is nice. And then we move on to this room here. Now, this room is also very, very important as we pick up yet another, uh, yet another Meat Orb. I'm kind of tempted to pick it up, but at the same time... Uh, I have to use that Usopp to actually kill this seahorse. So, what we're going to do is, is we're going to try and... Hmm. Very, very difficult here. Uh, we'll do this. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly what we wanted to do. So basically this means, because we have Doflamingo on our team, this blue guy will actually lock Doflamingo, but we've got sockets anyway. But this basically just gives us uh, another element of stall on our team, which is exactly what we want. So this is going to be great. We get an extra couple of turns of stall. And then we get to move on to the big bad boss himself, Admiral Aokiji. Uh, don't look so murderous, my friends. And he gives himself a debuff protector for 999 turns. Uh, or 99 turns, so basically you can't use any debuffers like defense buffs or defense debuffs really and uh, turn delays, you cannot bring turn delays. But basically for these first two turns we just want to do as much damage as possible to make sure that when we attack that uh, it kind of gives us like some wiggle room where if we get like a, a good or a great it's still going to be ending up enough damage to kill him. So that's what we're going to be doing for this first two turns is basically just trying to do as much damage as we can and then we'll pop all our specials and then kill our Kiji on the third turn of this room. Because if we do it any later, 
he'll actually uh, cut our health by 80%, which basically means we're not going to be able to do anything. Uh, so now we actually picked up another meat orb, which is really good. We're going to be at full health uh, in order to take down our Kiji, which is exactly what we want. So then after this turn, we can pop all of our specials and then get ready to take him down. All right. Here we go. So now we're going to use Garp first. Garp will give us either all recovery or, or Psy Orbs. It's going to give us a mixture between recovery and Psy Orbs on our team. Which it really doesn't matter because we're going to use Mr. 2 now, which converts all of those recovery orbs into matching orbs for our Psy units, which is really, really nice. And then we'll go ahead and use Impact Usopp to double the attack of all of our Psy units for a single turn. And then we're going to use Doflamingo, who will go ahead and double the effectiveness of all of our orbs for two, uh, not two turns, but for a single turn. Basically giving us uh, so much damage output, especially now because we're at full HP as well. Just make sure now that we don't miss and we'll be good to go. So let's see how we do. Alright, Impact Usopp, Mr. Two, Garp, and these guys. Boom! There we go, guys. That is how you beat 60 Stamina Aokiji with Strong World Shanks. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.